Item Number SCP-6590-D Security Level 5 Containment Class Decommissioned Special Containment Procedures SCP-6590 is to remain blacklisted by all Foundation web sweepers. Research into how SCP-6590 propagates and more effective methods of containing SCP-6590 is considered a top priority. Description SCP-6590 is a flash movie file containing a large quantity of classified Foundation information. This includes details regarding numerous contained anomalies, multiple of which are designated as top secret. The file also references multiple unknown entities which are presumed to be either anomalous above the classification of this document. Note: The Overseer Council will not accept increase into any cosmic top secret information that may or may not be present in SCP-6590 or anomalies that have yet to be contained by the Foundation. SCP-6590 propagates via an unknown method, with additional instances appearing in any site which publicly hosts and streams flash movie files. Accounts posting new SCP-6590 instances are unable to be connected to any human or other sentient being. An ongoing investigation as to the origins of SCP-6590 has been conducted by the Internal Security Department. Internal Statement on SCP-6590 Containment We don't particularly understand how SCP-6590 creates copies of itself. Granted, not understanding how things work is part of the course with the Foundation. Typically, and I say typically, even though we've only had a handful of anomalies on the internet, we don't need to know. New copy of an anomaly shows up, one of our web sweepers squashes it before any civvy see it. End of story. But 6590 is fast, really fast. Our web sweepers print out a ticket every time they wipe an anomaly off the internet. And 6590 has us changing the paper road three times a day. We're doing our best to keep up, but we need to pin down how this thing is propagating if we want to properly contain it. I'd be a bit less anxious if the anomaly was just some creepy video. I don't want this information to end up in the hands of people that want us gone, and I certainly don't want the public to realize that this isn't some sort of weird internet joke. Neil Connors, note, head of the Web Anomalies Containment Team, WACT, now known as the Department of Web Anomaly Containment, DOAC, September 2000. Addendum 1. During a containment breach at Site 40, a fire rendered six of WACT's eight web sweepers inoperable for several days. The number of new SCP-6590 instances detected by Foundation web sweepers subsequently decreased by nearly 75% for the duration of the repairs. So we lost three quarters of our web sweepers, and suddenly SCP-6590 propagation drops by three-fourths. I was just as surprised as anyone else. One hypothesis was that our two web sweepers just went finding three quarters of new instances, but we didn't see a drop in new instances for any other web anomaly. It took longer for us to find them, Sure, but it still found them. Our current hypothesis is that the propagation of SCP-6590 is somehow connected to us either looking for or finding SCP-6590. Needless to say, the Internal Security Department has been more secretive among my team since the discovery. Neil Connors, June 2002 Addendum 2 Four additional web sweepers were produced with the express purpose for more effectively containing SCP-6590. Effort was rendered ineffective when SCP-6590 propagation increased by approximately 50%. We need as much help as we can get, but everyone's been sidelining us lately. Rumor has it that 
There's a mole in our department that's been rigging out sweepers to create SCP-6590. According to the rumor, that's why internal security is always snooping around our offices. I smell bullcrap. We've been slowly losing ground to this thing, but anyone with ill intentions would be much better off removing 6590 from the sweeper blacklist. Do that during lunch, and every person with an internet connection will know about the foundation before dinner. It would be suicide on the mode's part, but it would be hell of a lot more destructive than the creeping spread we're seeing now. That's what I'd say to internal security, if I didn't already have a target on my back. But now, all we can do is collect more data and prove this isn't an inside job. Neil Connors, January 2003 Addendum 3. Direct request to the O5 Council. August 8th, 2007. Ever since its discovery of SCP-6590, the Rap Anomalies Containment Team has been regarded with heavy suspicion. The frequent investigations, interrogations, and general interference of the Internal Security Department with our team has made routine operations slow and arduous. This has in the case of the currently unclassified anomaly, codenamed Lonely Blogger, resulted in WACT being unable to react with necessary speed to effectively contain an anomaly. As far as we are aware, the main reason the ISD has been investigating our team is the belief that one or more team members are intentionally spreading SCP-6590, research from external department, attached separately, suggest that a new SCP-6590 instance is created every time an existing SCP-6590 instance is accessed. This will explain why the use of our web sweepers led to an increase in SCP-6590 publication, and why our web sweepers have been unable to publicly contain SCP-6590. More importantly, it will explain how these are possible without treason on behalf of our team members. As this is our best supported theory of how SCP-6590 works, I propose the following on behalf of WACT. 1. Provide additional funding to WACT for developing and implementing alternate methods of containment. 2. Provide additional personnel and accompanying office space to WACT for developing and implementing alternate methods of containment. 3. Dismiss the ISD investigation into WACT regarding SCP-6590. Proposition 1. Approved. Proposition 2. Approved. Proposition 3. Denied. We're dealing with a Hydra here. We cut off a head before it bites us, and two takes its place. And we've been cutting and cutting, and we asked the overseers for help. They had us another sword. We can't use another sword as long as the ISD is holding our arm behind our back. It's going to be a lot of work getting the newbies on. Hopefully, they'll help us find a more permanent solution to our Hydra. Neil Connors, January 2008 Due to the upcoming shift in the Web Anomalies Containment Team size and the scale of the operations, WACT was renamed the Department of Web Anomaly Containment. Addendum 4. Review of Current SCP-6590 Containment Measures, February 2015. Measure A. Removal of SCP-6590 via Foundation Web Sweepers. SCP-6590 has been on our Web Sweeper blacklist for as long as we've known about it. We've also known that our web sweepers are incapable of reducing the number of SCP-6590 instances present on the internet at any given time. However, we predict that removing individual SCP-6590 instances as soon as we can slow the rate at which SCP-6590 is viewed. The process is worth the electrical bills. Measure B. Use of Foundation Shell Companies to influence multiple technology companies. The full extent of our operations is classified, but I can say this much to all the flustered accountants. This is where the money goes. We've been going after the hosts, 
the major players putting SCP-6590 in front of civvies, pushing and pushing these companies for God knows how long, and we're finally seeing the fruits of our labor, YouTube stitching Flash and switching to HTML5. Sweep SCP-6590 off that site one more time and won't be able to come back. SCP-6590 isn't dead, not by a long shot, but cutting it off from its biggest source of views calls for free donuts in the break room. You're welcome! We're going to keep pushing other companies in case that wasn't obvious. Our push to have YouTube switch to HTML5 was less effective than we would expect it, to say the least. For the first time, we had lowered the number of SCP-6590 instances out there, but it turns out that YouTube was one of the safest places for SCP-6590 to end up. It had a much larger user base, but it also had so much content that SCP-6590 would get completely buried. We didn't know it at the time, but just about no one saw the instances that ended up on YouTube. Once YouTube put it over to HTML5, the density of SCP-6590 instances on other sites increased. Our web sweepers found them quicker, but they had a much bigger splash in those small communities. Amnestics won't have done anything, even if we put in the lick work to track down every viewer and amnesticize them. Another copy of the video would just pop up into their feed a few days later. Powerwatch doesn't seem to realize what the video means. Thank God! We're trying to control the damage and hoping that the leaks just end up as some lost media people half remember. But it's been hell for my blood pressure. Not to mention ISD is still looking for whoever created 6590. Hercules' nephew stopped the hydra's head from regrowing by catalyzing the necks. I think YouTube was one of those necks. But our work isn't going to get any easier until we dealt with all of them. Addendum 5. Door wax size and funding have been expanded in tandem with the gradual increase in SCP-6590 instances. Over the past several months, the Internal Security Department in cooperation with the Overseer Council, has been searching for a suitable assistant director to Neil Connors. As of March 19th, 2018, no suitable candidate has been found. Internal Security Department File Number 073213 Source Hidden Microphone Location Office of Director Neil Connors Date August 1st, 2018 Ahem Welcome, everybody, to Dorak's 10-year anniversary party. Wait for applause. Now, many of you in this room has been part of this department since the beginning. A smaller group of you were around back when we were the Web Anomalies Containment Team. But regardless of how long you have or haven't been with us, I want to thank you all for the work that you have done. Together, we've helped contain dozens of anomalies. We've done work no other department is capable of doing, and as far as I'm concerned, we're pretty damn good at it. I think that's something worth celebrating. Wait for a pause again. I imagine I ran into everyone about this at some point or another, but many of our advancements have been made to better contain one singular anomaly. SCP-6590 may predate this department, but we are on a path to containing it. I'm not allowed to tell you exactly when or how, but I'm confident that most of the people in this room will be working here on the day we get this viral web anomaly under control. On a more personal note, my okay, on a more personal note, my daughter was born a few weeks before we discovered SCP-6590. In my head, my our fight against SCP. Okay, in my head. My, our fight against 6590 was always tied to her growing up. I wanted that file to be gone before her 10th birthday, then before she started high school, and now before she finishes it. And we've made progress, sure, but it's not going to happen before June, and I know that these markers are arbitrary. I really do. But it's just so 
surreal knowing that my baby is going to be off in Michigan and this thing is still going to be a part of my life. No, no, I need to cut that. Can't have that in the speech. And so eventually we realized that the nuclear option was the only option. We had to hold every bloody stump to the fire at the same time. In this case, that meant having the right coders and the right companies working day in and day out, finding exploits, little vulnerabilities in the system. It meant picking and prying and nudging the tech world over and over in the direction we wanted them to go. Did it work? Of course it did. Neil Connors, September 2018. Addendum 6. Last updated. September 3rd, 2020. 12.34 p.m. What Adobe Killing Flash would mean for the internet? Things will never be the same after December 31st, 2020. Ask any millennial or member of Gen Z about Adobe Flash and they'll probably regale you with stories of games played in class or old animations to watch on Newgrounds.com. This treasure trove of internet content will soon be closed for good as Adobe Flash Player the technical backbone for an immeasurable volume of games and videos will lose support from its creators. SCP-6590 has been reclassified as decommissioned. I'm going to buy myself a bottle of Cognac and have a few days off. I've damn well earned it. Neil Connors, January 2021. I managed to script the audio from 6590 before Flash died. It's just an MP3 file. So it's not anomalous. It's my version of Trophy Atlas. This song used to keep me up at night. But someone should be able to get some enjoyment out of it. Old 6 a was hopping around. Site 19 like a big playground when suddenly hot came burst from the shade. 882 with a baby grenade The lizard got pissed and began to squeal But didn't expect an attack from the eel Who proceeded to squirt Y909 Then a ticking bird said you're out of time The bird was stuck again with his beady eyes But bumped into Larry and was liquefied Before 106 could retreat to its lair Sculpture appeared and he had to stare Kane snuck up on Larry when he was distracted He got really close and then redacted Then Abel got involved and they had a fight While 372 stayed out of sight This is the XK class event Nobody went and punched Kane in the face So Murphy Law hopped onto the case But 106 was still clinging to life Until he got stabbed by the death knife Damien was looking at some weird looking fruit When he was sucker punched by a guy in a space suit The moon man was roasting in Tiamat's flame While a well-dressed rabbit was off taking names Tiamat was gonna burn the rabbit too But she got pounced on by the cat girl crew Astrobot watched and it didn't do jack Even though it had said it would have her back Tiamat said, well you sure are pathetic Either you lied or you're on an unrest take Before she could say more Two fists came down from a king with a new and a lack of crown This is the XK class event The ultimate destiny Good guys, bad guys and explosions A time for bureaucracy And maybe no one survives We'll just have to wait and see This is the XK class event sang out in immaculate chorus, for there was the ghost of a stegosaurus. It swung its spike tail with the strength to end lives, and smacked it right into every O5. And they all lay dead, their blood on the floor, as a scared pester bot hid behind a door. But the dino saw where the bot tried to hide and crushed it to pieces in between its thigh. 
Then a bear that's a proof, and a bear that's a pole, and a floating skin blob that's full of undead souls. A gun that makes you teeny, a green eyed meanie, Vivian Scout, and a spam can genie. Neck of bright vibrator, dragons and the dragon slayer, wicker witch, not a snitch, super duper fastball pitch, volcanic destroyer, and a scream enjoyer. Red the wet, undead, and man borders. All came out of nowhere, lighting fast, and they kicked that dino in a scaly ass with anomalies out there all trading hints, and the masquerade being torn to bits. Fight rage on for a century, many lives were lame, but eventually the champion. Being stood with no time to gloat, Zin cure you in a blood-stained lab coat. This is the XK class e event of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. No time for bureaucracy, and maybe no one survives. We'll just have to wait and see. This is the XK class e event. This is the XK class e event. This is the XK class e event of ultimate destiny.